And now we want to get to the crisis on the U.S.-Mexico border. We have been hearing about it for years now. But the crisis that KPRC2 investigates is examining over the next few weeks is much different. Investigator Mario Diaz is making his way back from McAllen, and tonight he has this report from Ganado. I'm just over an hour southwest of Houston in the tiny town of Ganado. Behind me there is 59, and the last time we were here, we were focused on the smuggling operations of migrants out of Mexico. Residents here telling me uh, just over a year ago they'd been seeing more and more bailouts of migrants coming into their backyards just off of 59. But the focus of the smuggling today is much different. Today we are looking at fentanyl. This is the lethal drug that the Mexican cartels have been manufacturing in amounts never seen before and shipping them into our country. We were in McAllen yesterday speaking with a drug counselor who has seen the impact locally and with the assistant special agent in charge of the DEA office in McAllen. We wanted to see how challenging this has been for them, not only in terms of treating, but also combating, considering that South Texas is one of the biggest ports of entry for fentanyl. Richard T. Sanchez with the DEA tells KPRC2 Investigates that Right now, this drug is the most lethal drug he has ever seen, but it also is being produced by a syndicate who not only have the resources, but also the brains to create it and move it. They're extremely organized. Their tentacles touch the global market. And like any corporation, the cartels are looking to serve their customers, not only off of 59 in Houston, but also everywhere else that they could push this drug in the United States. We're going to have much more on this in our investigative reports set to air next week. In Ganado, Mario Diaz, KPRC2 Investigates.